Hi, I'm Frank Rohr. I'm the scientific director for Delta Waterfowl and uh, here to talk a little bit about some of our North American ducks. We'll start out with mallards since mallards are probably one of the most popular ducks. They're uh, the number one duck in the harvest for sure and uh, they're our most abundant duck in North America and, and for good reason. Mallards are amazing generalists. They do uh, pretty much everything. They nest in all sorts of habitats. They'll nest from southern areas like Iowa and Nebraska right up to the Arctic Circle. They'll go to the far north to the tundra to breed on Arctic deltas. Um, mallards are spreading east so they're becoming uh, fairly abundant in Ontario and, and, and farther east in Quebec. They breed all the way out to the west coast. So. The other thing about mallards is, is they have a long nesting season. Maybe pintails start nesting a little bit earlier, but mallards go later than any other species. And part of the reason for that is, is their strong tendency to re-nest. So aside from having this broad geographic range that they nest over, they nest all over the U.S. and Canada, they also are very adaptable in where they nest. Typically, we think of mallards as an upland nesting species in the thick grass, um, and the thicker the better. But they'll do all sorts of things. At Menadosa, where nest success has been terrible, Menadosa is a site in southwestern Manitoba where Delta's done a lot of work. Um, nest success there has been awful, just awful, sometimes less than 1%. And so mallards have adapted to doing something different. In that case, a lot of mallards nest over water. They do like canvasbacks. They go into the cattail and have higher success because foxes and skunks don't go out in that habitat. Um, and that's also been uh, a site where we've had great success with hen houses. Mallards, you know, super adaptable, and they'll go in the hen houses. So it's the it's the main species that nest in, in the in the uh, hen house. Um, but We've even found mallards in Menadosa nesting in crow nests, old crow nests, abandoned nests. So they're just remarkably flexible in, in what they'll do. Different types of habitats, wetlands that range from shallow temporary wetlands to deep permanent wetlands, they'll, they'll use it all. So, so mallards are probably the most adaptable duck in, in North America or the world, and that probably explains their great abundance. The other thing, you know, aside from being adaptable on the breeding grounds, they're very adaptable in the winter. Uh, we used to think historically most mallards probably wintered in the Mississippi alluvial valley eating acorns and flooded timber, but they quickly adapted to agriculture. And so now, as most hunters know, mallards love cornfields, they'll go into wheat fields, uh, rice fields, you name it. In wintering habitats, you'll find mallards all over. So that also explains their great success.